Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronax, and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So, I've got uh, Kisei level uh, 56 star. I just 6 starred her, but she's only level 50. So, I gotta grind that up. So, I'm gonna show you uh, how she uh, does in uh, Wyvern. It is uh, Wyvern stage 9 on auto. So, this is the team that I'm running with very high on offense my only source of uh, defense down debuff is Tarnar guard he doesn't have uh, much speed uh, I just want him to have a bunch of attacks so whenever a uh, dual attack procs he, uh, he deals as much damage as possible and he has enough effectiveness so he can land those defense down debuffs so, so Kisei she just went with her uh, third skill which uh, which ups the cooldown of the target by uh, by two turns. Now she just did her uh, second skill that penetrates 60% of the target's defenses if she's in stealth, which she was, and she had attack buff. Now this is uh, this is Kise with uh, low 3,000 attack. Her crit damage is like 170-ish, and she's running uh, speed boots. Uh, she's not running attack boots, so she has like some like 170 speed, which is how I like her for PvP as of now. I need to test things out with her, but she's running a mix of tier four and five abyss uh, items mostly tier 5 just the ones with the highest amount of uh, speed basically defense down says doesn't have much attack speed he's pretty much like uh, Tarnar guard it's just that he's not on lifesteal he's on double uh, crit and hit set this skill doesn't deal much damage really for single target uh, attacks like in PvP if it hits the whole team, it's not going to be your main source of uh, damage. But the best thing about Kise is uh, her first skill that deals additional damage against uh, targets that have a barrier. Of course, here's the battle results. You can see that in terms of damage, she's kind of destroying uh, Sez and Tarnar Guard. The runs are quick too, like because her third skill ups the cooldown by two turns if it lands, she has pretty good effectiveness, something like 40, close to 50 effectiveness maybe. And uh, if she uses it, well in my, in my scenario, she used it early on, first turn. And I actually did skill enhance her. She's uh, plus four on the uh, skill number three, and she's plus one on skill one and skill two, because it only costs one Molagora. So I got, at, at uh, plus uh, three, you get the uh, minus one turn cooldown on the uh, third skill. So now it's a uh, four turn cooldown for skill two and skill three. So basically on auto, she's gonna do uh, her third skill and then she's gonna do uh, the, the second skill. If, if I lower the cooldown on the second skill, uh, I think things are not gonna be synced up on, on the second pass. Like she's gonna use the second skill earlier than uh, the, the third skill and she won't get the penetrate 60% uh, of the defense but it doesn't matter too much because uh, her source of damage really is mostly skill one and skill uh, three I've seen numbers like with my attack and crit damage I've seen uh, 18,000 damage her skill one does a lot of damage even okay is that a attack buffed let's see the damage 20.3k that's the third skill and 
yeah she 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 must have had the increase the cooldown of the boss by two turns so the tail swing it was like there was one uh, turn left before he does it and it, it changed it, like he lost two turns so he had to go three more times well she's sometimes her damage is crazy also does devil if it procs uh, she's gonna go again with her first skill thing with does devil is there's some pros and cons uh, does devil only procs if she uses the, the first skill on any thief that's how it works so if she used the the second or uh, third skill it's not gonna proc now when it does proc when she uses skill one what's really cool is that it doesn't consume a turn so she you don't lose one turn of your buffs all your buff the stealth like the attack buff uh, like whatever buff you have you don't lose a turn so that's cool but uh, if you have like Rihanna and Luciella you do lose one turn on your buffs in PvP you can combo uh, the, the, the skill 3 and then skill 2 which gonna be so, uh, some sick damage you're gonna take down one target for sure if both crit assuming you're not attacking a super tanky uh, unit uh, you will lose one turn of buffs but you will cycle through your skills faster meaning that you're gonna have uh, you're gonna do that uh, plus two turn cooldown more often so in pve you could uh, potentially if you have high speed and especially if you have speed buff you could potentially lock down the target uh, and have the target not able to use skills like a boss Immune, immunity is like stun, provoke, sleep, silence and effect resistance 70% so you're gonna have to have some, some good effectiveness but still if you have enough speed and you have speed buff and uh, you've got uh, the skill number 3 enhanced for minus one turn you can uh, potentially keep a boss uh, like locked out of uh, his ultimate wow that was clutch on Diane Yeah, my, my runs are not perfect yet. Need to tweak this team. I usually run with uh, with Clary. That was my last setup. It was uh, it was Diane, Clary, Tarnagard, and Sez, which was more uh, had better uh, defense. Look at that! Like the shield was broken so quick. The the uh, the barrier was just totally destroyed. And I'm like working on the ball. Now there's no attack buff. Keep that in mind. The wyvern is just getting destroyed. She's stealthed. That's the 60% uh, uh, defense penetration, but no attack buff and no defense down on the target. I'm I'm happy with uh, with her damage. Uh, I, I knew that skill 2 wouldn't do some some crazy damage. I asked my guildmates, tested it in uh, in PvP. <laughs> Not in low in low uh, tier PvP. They they tested it in uh, where is it? Champion and uh, I got guildmates in legend so Yeah, it's only a matter of time until we start. Sh uh, she starts showing up probably on defense. Uh, I will do some PvP, uh, some arena videos later on. But now sh I need to get her to level 60. So I'm gonna show you the gear on my team. Sort this by CP. So Kise has the highest CP. She's got pretty much the gear of my Sid. I just tra transferred them over. Uh, here's the skill ups. Was that it? I want to replace... Uh, I don't know. I want to power up uh, God Axe that I got uh, just after uh, Kisei after uh, doing the Moonlight Summon. That was really nice. 
uh, the defense down debuff uptime is going to be higher with uh, with him, I think. But anyways, I, I might test things out. If I can tank double attacks, I, I could replace Sez with him, but yeah, I don't know. I'll probably replace Tarnar Guard. I have to test things out. Anyways, here's the gear. Just pause if I go too quick. I actually got this from Banshee and it rolled like crazy. Look at like oh, the total amount of stats. Like that attack effectiveness and crit damage together adds up to a bunch of stats. So that rolls quite well. Okay, I have more crit damage than I thought. My crit chance is, is quite low though. I need, I need to work on that. These boots are uh, their speed, but the, the subs are great. It's only uh, they're tier 4, well, level 55 now. It's called. And yeah, Dust Devil has its pros and cons, like I said. Here it says. Wanted to maybe put that on Kisei, uh, this chest, and if I can get some. Actually. Yeah, I could do that if I wanted. I could definitely do that if I wanted and uh, put some uh, life steal attack boots from uh, the abyss onto her. So I'm gonna test things out later on. Tarnar guard has low speed, like I said, 48% effectiveness, very high crit, 92%. The neck is not even max, so he can have 100% crit easy. But you're good with 80% crit as ice uh, against the, the the wyvern. And Diane, 197 speed. I got these boots, counter boots. So we get 35 speed there, but the, the sub stats are for an offensive character. I'm gonna use the boots from the Christmas event this, when the second part unlocks. This easy 35 speed with some defensive stats, defensive sub stats, really good. Everyone's gonna be able to get them, so that's that's cool. So yeah, really glad I got her, like my summoning session was uh, very horrible early on and then it started changing up, starting to get some 4 star heroes but I, I wasn't seeing anything early on, it was sad, I, I didn't think I would get her but I did. So yeah, uh, the attack, she's only level 51, so I'm gonna be in the... Actually, yeah, I was saying 3,000 something at that. No, I don't even have 3,000. So I'm gonna be in the, the low 3,000 when she's level 60. And uh, her speed's pretty good. I need to get some more crit. But the effectiveness is quite good. It's quite good to land her uh, third skill. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that and make some more videos. But that's it for this one, guys. Good luck with the summoning. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Oh, I guess I can do this daily. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, let me just get a three star real quick. Artifact. Oh no, it's a hero. Yeah. When I was told that if you see like a knight, that's a hero. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Butcher Corp. Okay, I'm low. I'm low on bookmarks now. Free to play. Uh, I only use my Sky Stones for uh, refilling energy. Never buy. I never buy uh, Covenant summons with them. Uh, that's how I can push further into the game as free to play. It's just get as much energy as possible. But yeah. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'm out for now. Peace.